want to consider the idea of linear systems. So first, what exactly is the linear system? A linear system is a set of m equations and n variables that looks like this. It, so a11 x1 plus a12 x2 all the way up to a1 n xn equal to b1. a21 x1 plus a22 x2 all the way up to a2 n xn is equal to b2. And you continue this down for however many equations you have. All of the a values are going to be our constants. These are our coefficients. They're the known values. And then the x's are our variables. And then we should know the b's as well. Here's an example of three equations and three variables. We have 7x1 minus 8x2 minus 3x3 equal to 5. Negative 8x1 minus 7x2 minus 8x3 equal to negative 7. And then negative x1 plus 7x2 minus 9x3 equal to negative 5. And here's an example of two equations in six variables. So these do not have to be square at all. So how do we go about finding solutions to these? Our first step in solving these will be to use the first equation to eliminate x1 in the rest of the equations. We then use the second equation to eliminate x2 in the rest of the equations. And then we'll just continue this process on. So let's look at an example. I'm going to look at the example, and we're slowly just going to transform this into an easier and easier system. The first step is to use the first equation to get rid of x1 in the rest of the equations. So the first equation right now we're going to leave as it is. For the second equation, if I multiply my first equation by negative 2 and then add these two, I would have negative 2 times 2x1 is negative 4x1 plus my second equation would eliminate my x1 variable. Negative 2 times 6x2 would be negative 12x2, plus 15x2 would be 3x2. Negative 2 times 8x3 would be negative 16x3, plus 19x3 would be 3x3. And then negative 2 times 16 would be negative 32, plus 38 is 6. I can also see that if I subtract my first and third rows, it will get rid of the x1 in the third equation because negative 2x1 plus 2x1 would be 0. Negative 6x2 plus 0 would be negative 6x2. Negative 8x3 plus x3. I wrote the problem down wrong, plus 3x3. So negative 8x3 plus 3x3 would be negative 5x3. And then negative 16 plus 6 is negative 10. So we've done our first step, and we need to move on to the second step. Our second step said to use the second equation to get rid of x2 in the other equations. So this time, our second equation is going to stay like it is. If I multiply the second equation by negative 2 and add it to the first equation, well, my first entry would be 0 plus 2x1. I would then have negative 6x2 plus 6x2, which is 0. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, so negative 6x3 plus 8x3 is positive 2x3. And then negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, plus 16 is, uh, is 4. If I multiply my second equation by 2 and add it to the third equation, that would give me 6x2 minus 6x2 is 0. 6x3 minus 5x3 is just x3. And 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 10 is 2. So I'm getting closer and closer to an answer. As an example, my last equation now says x3 is equal to 2. I want to continue this process. So now I'm going to use the third equation to eliminate x3 in the other equations. My last equation is just x3 equal to 2. If I multiply that last equation by negative 3 and add it to the second equation, that would be 0 plus 3x2. I would then have negative 3x3 plus 3x3 is 0. And then negative 6, 2. And then negative 6 plus 6 is 0. If I multiply that third equation by x3 and add it to the second equation, that would be 0 plus 2x1. 
And then negative 2x3 plus 2x3 would be 0. Negative 4 plus 4 would also be 0. And I can now start to get my answer. I have that 2x1 is equal to 0, so x1 must be equal to 0. I have 3x2 is equal to 0, so x2 must be 0. And then I have that x3 is equal to 2. Therefore, I have my solution.